Hey guys, the purpose of this video is to show you guys how we can use the Olama with Intel Arc GPU on our Windows PC. I'm Minaj by the way, so let's get started. The assumption that I make that you already know what Olama is and you have already used it, downloaded it, and you run basic models or any models in Olama. But if you have Intel Arc GPU, it might not use the GPU, but only the CPU to demonstrate. Let's go ahead and make sure that our Olama instance is running. Try to set up some benchmark. So first, let's just start with Olama that we have. Now let's try the famous uh, fun fact. Let's see. So this is the inference that is happening. And if you could see, um, it is using mostly CPU and the model is loaded on the RAM. Um, and the activity on the Intel Arc 770 graphics card is nil at least from this inference and we're gonna wait till this answer complete and we'll see the token per second and here we have it the token per second we are getting is 7.32 which is quite slow um, so let's try make this olama uh, use our intel arc gpu and there are two ways we could do it and this is based on ipex llm I'll put the link in the description if you guys are interested and this uh, details how this is implemented what things are supported in this one and the latest update is that they have um, created a Olama portable zip package that you could run locally another way that I run is a docker image what I found personally is the docker image is the more efficient one uh, and I'm gonna show that too, how to get the latest image, how to build the Docker and start the Docker container and use that for Olama inference with DeepSeq and, um, and other model. Uh, for the comparison, we're gonna use DeepSeq distal model 7B. So let's do the portable zip model. What you could do, you could just go to this portable zip, get this zip downloaded and unzip it. And then what we could do, we are gonna go to the folder and run Olama from here. I have already downloaded it, which is in here, and also extracted it. And so I'm gonna go change the directory to this one and then run the inference. Let's start another command prompt. And for this one, we are gonna go to this directory. Oh yes, and before we do that, we are going to make sure that the instance of previous Olama is stopped. Otherwise, we're going to have port clash. We can change it, but for now, for the sake of demonstration, let's quit the Olama. Um, and then here we could do Olama exe. We have to serve it first. So this will start an Olama instance that is supposed to be the IPEX LLM. Um, I'm going to start another command prompt just to do the inference so here we go we're gonna change the directory to the zip again and then we are gonna run llama run and then for some more information we're gonna have the verb verbose um, it's gonna be deep seek r1 distilled model of 7b running the model you could see it is serving the model let's do the same um, command that we did here and let's see and here if we go to our gp monitoring now we could see that the model is loaded on the gpu and it is using the gpu memory to do the inference let's see what the result is and at this point we could see in here the memory isn't being used by this inference as well as CPU is at um, OK threshold as well. So here is the model using the GPU, Intel Arc GPU. And I think we'll have the information here too. Here you go. So it is saying that it is using Intel Arc A770 GPU. And here we have the um, token per second. So if you compare, it is almost more than doubled than the generic Olama that we get from um, this page and run it locally. 
The third option is to use the Docker image. And for the Docker image, we have to do a few stuff. So first, we are going to get the Docker image. And we can run this command in our command prompt. Let's go to the command prompt, run it. And it's going to fetch the latest Docker image for IPEX 11. So once the download is complete, we can go to Docker and we'll see the images section and we'll see our latest LLM based uh, image there and we could create a container based on this image I already have created the container so I'm not gonna create it but I'm gonna show the command to do so this is the command you could run it in command prompt as usual to create the container so once you put in the command hit enter and it's going to create a container in the docker now that we have the container created let's run LLM in this one we're gonna go and start this container oh wait we have to stop the other Olama instance because we're gonna have the port clash so let's just stop it once we stop we'll see that it has released the GPU memory and now this um, Molama instance is stopped, we can start Docker container. Once the Docker container starts, we have to do um, a few steps, but this can be automated um, later if you want. For now, uh, for this demonstration, let's just go right ahead and execute these commands. So what we are gonna do is, we are gonna first go into the Docker container. Um, so let's go ahead and add another instance of our of our command prompt and let's go into the docker now we are in the docker what we're gonna do is go to the script folder and start olama in our docker container which would be this there we go now that we have it started we could use the same terminal because it is starts the olama at the background so even if you do control c it will still be running and we can verify it with the ps um, so here it is, we have Olama running in our Docker. What we could do now is go and change the directory. It's gonna create a directory called Olama. And in, in this directory, we can run Olama in front. So let's go ahead and use the same um, DeepSeq models. And let's do it. And I'm gonna just close down this screen so we have other ones in front to do the comparison. Now, we have the Docker version of Olama uh, running with the DeepSeq 7V model and we have the command prompt. So let's try the same command prompt and we're gonna monitor, there we go. Now, if you see, it feels like it is doing it really fast in France compared to all other two. And here we can also see the spike in the GPU uh, VRAM as well as the processing of the GPU and the token per second is 37.38 which is way faster than the generic llama the the zip version this does use GPU but the um, the rate is quite slow and this one is double of that one now that we have Olama running with the GPU you could use this with your API call, you could use it with your open web UI, you can use it with anything. So that's it for this video. If you have any question, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them whenever I can. Um, thanks for watching, bye for now.